Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Scentsy Consultant, back with you again today. And I have a What I've Been Warming basket um, to share with you. So we'll go ahead and start with the stuff that's um, non-wax. Um, we made it through a container of um, hibiscus pineapple body wash. And this was really lovely. I enjoyed this in the body wash. It's like fruity and like clean and just, it's it was lovely. Um, so we really enjoyed hibiscus pineapple. Um, and look at the, the macaw. Ah, so cute. Um, and then I think so far, besides Jamie time, this is my all-time favorite body wash. Um, and that was Blue Grotto. Why do we not still have Blue Grotto? <laughs> this was fantastic. And thank goodness I have another one that I got from the um, clearance section. Um, not this past clearance, but I think it was like January. I think I got it. Oh, that's magnificent in body wash. It's so fruity and so amazing. <gasps> I would totally buy that all the time if we still had that. <laughs> um, and then I made it through one of my Fiji flower washer whiffs. Love this for my laundry, um, for my towels and stuff. I love it so much. Um, it's so fragrant for me. Um, my towels will smell like this for weeks and weeks and weeks. I absolutely love Fiji Flower. I totally hope that they bring this out um, next spring summer catalog because it's fantastic in the laundry. <laughs> um, it's not my favorite wax, but I do enjoy it in the laundry. Um, so I also um, put out, because my watermelon tangerine fragrance flower isn't all that fragrant for me um, compared to what the sea salt and avocado was, I opened up another one um, and I'll have to attach to this video a picture of what this did, but I did one in Cozy Cardigan too and I thought, well, they'll go together just fine in the bathroom. Um, and the combination of the two together, I can smell those, um, but neither, neither one is all that super uber fragrant for me. Um, I don't know. So that one's in the bathroom currently, but I put it in and I must not have put it down far enough because the, the flower ended up when it filled up with oil drooped over and it dripped oil on my, um, my wooden cabinet that I have in the bathroom. And um, it took the varnish <laughs> right off. Um, I mean, it's an amazing varnish remover because it took the, the varnish and everything, um, the polish, the varnish, everything, like this whole spot that had run off from the flower being drooped over. So um, I unscrewed it and made sure it was stuck down in um, and it's been fine ever since, but I was like, wow. Um, and I don't know if it's just because my dog getting herself all worked up coming out here, but um, I don't know if it's just because it was the buttercup bell um, that it did that. I don't know, but I'll have to show you a picture. I'm a little disappointed because I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to match that varnish. <laughs> and I've had that cabinet forever since I was in my 20s. Um, and now I'm in my 40s, so like 20 years. I've had that cabinet and I'm like, really? I took the varnish right off. I mean, it's like, oh, I, I just have to show you a picture at the end. I'll attach it. And then um, I also um, opened up a package of Palm Beach Breeze in the dryer discs. So now instead of just using two dryer discs, I use all four when I do my laundry in this. Sorry, here's my menagerie going wild. <laughs> She's not made a peep all day, <laughs> you guys. Oh, and I've done something to my arm. I think I pulled a muscle um, and my arm is not happy. <laughs> so um, forgive me here. But um, I also made it through a package of cotton cleanups. And um, you guys, um, a side note, they just shipped my... Um, monthly Scentsy Club. It should be here Tuesday. Minus again, my, my cotton cleanups. Um, and so, um, they'll now owe me eight packages of cotton cleanups when they come in at the end of 
I think it's the 23rd that they'll be back in stock. Well, they only ate packages now. So <laughs> um, there's that on the cotton cleanups. Um, and so I also finished up a bag of the um, Equate. Um, is it Equate? Well, they're jumbo. I feel like that's Equate, but it's uh, it says Swiss Furs. I don't know. It's from Walmart. <laughs> Whatever they have in stock that's the biggest. This happens to be super jumbo cotton balls. Because um, I had to switch to cotton balls because I'm like out of cotton cleanups now. I have a couple upstairs that I could use down here, but I just moved on to cotton, to cotton balls. Um, and so um, I also, well, they still kind of smell just a little. But these were from um, the Whip Box. Not this month, but last month. Um, these are the Cloudberry Dreams um, scent pods. I have these in my kitchen. And I wasn't smelling them in the wall fan diffuser out in my kitchen anymore. So I removed them. They do slightly smell here. I could probably put this in my linen drawer. Um, but went through those and I replaced those with Arctic Kiss, which are wonderful. I absolutely love Arctic Kiss in the pods. Highly recommend them. Oh. So this is now in my kitchen and the packaging with the little polar bear, mama and baby. Love, love. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I um, made it through my last two testers, um, cranberry, candy cranberry pecan. I'm going to use that in my bathroom upstairs in my little um, mini, um, mini warmer such a pretty scent or no this one was the kitchen and this one was the bathroom my apologies this was in the kitchen because I also have my seashore um wax um mini warmer <laughs> um out in the kitchen so this is really good in the kitchen it was like that little hint of cranberry well it's like cranberry little cinnamon and that little hint of pecan mm, so good love that one um and then in my bathroom upstairs, my all-time favorite, <laughs> well, no, actually Cinnamon Bear is my all-time favorite, but Snow Kiss Cranberry. Oh, this was so fun in my bathroom. I just love Snow Kiss Cranberry. It's one of the best. This little tester, <laughs> when I smelled it, I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be like perfectly pomegranate, nothing exciting. So I didn't melt it till it was too late. Or I didn't smell. I didn't actually melt the wax that I had until it was too late. And what provoked me to melt the wax, um, which I might have still had this bar of wax if I hadn't of, uh, we had gotten a Snow Kiss Cranberry Car Bar in one of the with boxes, January maybe. I think it was January. Might have been December, and I didn't open it till January, something like that. Um, and boy, was that the best car bar I've ever used. It was so amazing and I was like, wait a minute, I need to melt this wax. I melted this wax and it was amazing, amazing. And I was like, no, it's too late to put it in my club. <laughs> no, what have I done? So that was my first Sensi heartbreak because um, I didn't find out until it was too late to put it in my club. My bird, sorry. <sighs> Rosie wants to do a video too. Dale's outside filming his video for his YouTube channel and I'm doing mine and now she wants to be a part of it. <laughs> so, um, I also have um, put in my kitchen in that mini warmer, um, Fairy Tale Pumpkin, which is the scent cup um, from the Whiff Box. It's gonna be the October scent of the month. I really enjoy this. It smells like candy to me. But when it's melting in the kitchen, and I, I hate to base my opinion on these because sometimes they're different. Like Scary Good is a good example where it smelled more caramel in this. And then when you got the bar, you got more of the spice. And I was like, what? That's so weird. So in my kitchen, I swear this smells like a grape good and plenty. So if good and plenty came in grape slash licorice, like black licorice, 
that would be this to me. It's it's just a hint of black licorice. It's so mellow. You can hardly even tell in this cup in my mini. And yes, I put the whole thing in my mini warmer and it's perfect. Perfect size for a mini warmer. It's not like super fragrant, but it's pretty. It's like a grape flavored, a grape slash licorice flavored good and plenty. And it's very candy like. I love this based on this little scent cup in my mini warmer. So I am anxious to see what the actual bar smells like because I really love fairy tale pumpkin. So there's my opinion on that. <laughs> and then um, you guys, I, I don't think I'm a, a vendor wax person. I think the Harry Potter candles that I have um, to memorialize my friend um, when October comes around, um, I think those might be a different experience for me, but I'm just not enjoying <laughs> my vendor wax. And I don't think it has anything to do with L3 Waxy Wonders. I just don't think I'm a vendor wax person. Um, it's not as fragrant as Scentsy to me, and it's heavier in the air. I know that sounds so weird, but it just, it, it's like, I don't get any heaviness from Scentsy. And for some reason from Bender Wax, I kind of may, I guess not this level. <laughs> I put way too much in when I did my little bitty buddy. No, what are they called? Bitty Betty. Um, I put the whole darn Bitty Betty <laughs> down here. It made my eyes water, but it still wasn't that fragrant. And the air was really heavy. I don't know. So I went through Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure um, cup. And this was, this must be what um, the uh, scoopables are like, because it was extremely soft and it was hard to get out of here. It's a pretty scent in here, but I didn't even really smell it that much in my kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not a vendor person, I guess. Um, now, fizzy soda I did smell pretty decent, and I did really actually like fizzy soda, but it didn't last for me like Sensi does. Um, I smelled it like maybe half the day, um, but it did smell like a fizzy soda, like Sprite or 7-Up. Um, it was fun, but it just didn't like wow me like Sensi does. Um, I want to... I want to love it like everybody else, but I don't know. I just don't think it's my thing. So we'll see how the candles go. Plus I still have some like scoopables and stuff. I'm just not in a big hurry to, <laughs> to warm them. I don't know. I might even give them away um, as a gift because I'm just, sorry, my shoulder does not want to do that. Um, I just, I wasn't as impressed with it as I wanted to be. So, um, next I have the Scentsy Wax that I've gone through. Pardon me while I clean up my mess here one second. I just want to get this out of the way. <laughs> um, so, here are the wax bars that I went through. Um, so I went through, um, because I was trying to use up, um, some of my more summer um, waxes. So I went through two bars of red pear and pomegranate. Um, also a friend of mine was, was considering, um, she, did, she couldn't decide if she wanted to do autumn road trip or cider mill or the red pear and pomegranate in the cleaning bundle. So I ended up giving her a sample of, um, one of these cubes, um, so that she could try it and see if it was too sweet for her, if she would enjoy it. So um, I ended up giving her a sample. Um, and I, because I did that, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna melt these. I'm pretty sure these were my last two bars um, of red pear and pomegranate. It's really pretty. Um, if I could keep everything in my Scentsy Club, I would. I would have kept this. Um, cause I did enjoy it. It's a, it's a great performer for me. It was like a strong, um, performer. It's so pretty. It really is very pretty, but I have to look at, like, I cannot have a five, $600 Sensi club. I just can't, even though it's quarterly, I just can't. So I did not put this in my Sensi club and I've used it all. 
and um, I've just decided it was fun while I had it, but it's not like I'm gonna die if I never melt it again. So um, I chose not to put that in my Scentsy Club. Um, and <laughs> drum roll, please. I went through birthday wishes to bars. Um, and this time I did smell it. Um, interestingly enough, I had one bar going and I couldn't really smell it. And I was like, what is wrong with me that I cannot smell this? Is it just that my nose goes nose blind to vanilla? Like, what is that? So I went around and I put a second cube in all of the same warmers. I smelled it and I smelled it extremely well. So I do love this. I just find that for me personally, and nobody else seems to be like this, but for me personally, it seems like I have to have two cubes in all of my, I have to do two at a time. Um, for now, I'm keeping it in my club. Um, just because it is really good. I really do love vanilla cake with vanilla icing. That's my jam. <laughs> if you go to a party and you offer me um, chocolate cake, I'm probably going to turn it down. If you offer me vanilla cake, I'll go ham on it. <laughs> I love vanilla cake. Um, and so I really, really love this. Um, I would say even the two cubes, I only really smelled it one whole day. And I don't know what it is that my nose just does not want to pick up the vanilla. <laughs> so I don't know, but two, two cubes of each, you know, two whole bars, I smelled it and I had fun with it. So for now I'm keeping it. We'll see how that goes. Oops. <laughs> um, I also put a, um, bar of Perfect Gentleman upstairs. Um, just trying to decide, do I want to keep this in my club? I really do love this one. Um, but I kicked it out of my club because I've decided I want to keep sheer leather because I hugely, hugely love sheer leather. Um, to me, it, it reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce and I love sheer leather. Um, even though sheer leather is softer than this one. This one's more of like a clean soap. Um, but it's such a great performer and it lasts for days. I truly love it. I truly enjoy it, but I just felt like sheer leather was better and my hero is better. And even mystery man is a little bit better. So I made the hard decision and I kicked it out of my club, even though I really, really love it. I can't keep them all. So I chose not to keep perfect gentlemen in my club. Um, which makes me a little sad, but <laughs> um, I don't need them all. <laughs> I've got to just really stick with my favorite. So um, that's why I melted that one and went through that one. Um, and one day I was just feeling like straw, like um, summer. And so I went with strawberry swirl. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. It's just like a frothy strawberry milkshake. Oh. And I smell, personally, real frozen strawberries and like milk. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. It's staying in my club. It's an, it's an amazing performer and I don't ever want to live without this one. And it's super cute packaging. So from the Bring Back My Bar, this one's totally staying in my club because I absolutely love it. It was this and Lucky and Love were tied for my favorites. Followed by like Palo Santo, Oodles of Orange. Um, there's another one. I I love a million of them. <laughs> Too many. But this is one of my all-time favorites. I love it. So for now, that one's staying in my club, and I had an amazing time with that. <laughs> um and one of my all-time favorites, it's never leaving my club because I can't believe nobody else loves this the way that I love this. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. Thank God I had the presence of mind to put this in my club um, because I can warm this the entire summer and be a happy girl. Welcome summer. <gasps> I love it. I love everything about it and my daughter hates it. <laughs> 
and I'm like, why do you hate this? It's delightful. It smells like sunshine. <laughs> it literally smells like summer sunshine to me. It reminds me of being a kid playing in the backyard and just the sun shining and it was a beautiful day and just having the most amazing day. Oh, it's like candy sweet floral, but it's heavy on the candy sweet and then the floral. Oh, it's everything and more to me. So if you don't like that, I'm so sorry, but this is one of my all time favorites. And the yellow is so pretty. It's just, it's one of those scents. I find some scents, and there's another one here. I'll actually talk about that one next. Some scents make me happy just smelling them. This is one of them. This is definitely a keeper forever because I smell it and I'm happy. I'm happy. It almost even has like a lemon kind of like real soft, like lemonade in the background, like you're drinking lemonade while you're laying in the sun. <sighs> I just, I love, love, love everything about Welcome Summer. I love everything about it. It's one of my all time favorites. It smells like sunshine in a wax bar. It instantly makes me happy every time I smell it. Dale enjoys it every time I put it in. Um, I love it. <laughs> The other one that does this to me, and it's one of those wax bars that if I'm having a bad day, if I put this in the warmers, I know I'm not depressed anymore. I'm instantly happy. Like I instantly in my mind go to my happy place. And that's Painted Leaves from Bring Back My Bar last winter, fall. Um, my gosh, I will never be without this bar because I love everything about it and it, I cannot explain it, but it instantly makes me happy. It does, just smelling the empty clean makes me happy. It's, now you have to understand, and I think I, I've, I've been trying to decide why do I love trees so much? <laughs> my daughter hates trees. Um, the smell, <laughs> not actual trees, but she doesn't love pine or balsam or fir or any of that stuff. It's just, she could care. She, it, she doesn't like it, but for me, I love it. And it, re, it just, I live in the middle of the Allegheny National Forest, um, Kinzu Dam, which is right up the road from me. Johnny Cash did a song about it. Um, and there's a very sad history about how we broke a treaty with corn planter. Uh, we, like I was any part of it, it happened before I was born. This was back when Kennedy was president. Um, it's the one thing about Kennedy that makes me sad. Um, they broke the treaty with corn planter and they moved these people out of their city and um, these Native Americans and they stole the land from them to build this dam. And it's because Pittsburgh would keep flooding and our town would be like, you gotta ride a boat through it. Like the flooding was really bad. It's still not okay that they broke the treaty um, with the Native American people and they stole it from them. And there's a conspiracy <laughs> around here that, um, that they didn't actually, they claim they dug up um, their native people burial grounds. Um, they claim that they dug them up and they relocated them. Um, and it's thought that it's, that that really didn't happen, that they really did not <laughs> relocate all of those buried people, native people. And I don't think they did, <laughs> but Johnny Cash was so compelled to do, to do a song about it. I'm just like Bob Dylan did a song about the hurricane. If you've never seen that movie, I highly recommend that movie. True story. Um, Denzel Washington does that movie, but, um, yeah, so I live right here. Um, so we're in an Allegheny National Forest. Sometimes in town you'll get bears, um, raiding people's bird feeders. Um, you get deer. Um, like I live in the woods and I think it's why I love tree scents so much. I love woods. I and when I smell this wax bar, painted leaves, I swear, it's like I'm taking, it's like, it's, a, it's 
here's what I, every time I smell it, this is what I think of. It's like early morning, like six in the morning. And you get all bundled up in your flannel, like jacket or whatever, um, in your jeans and you go for a hike in the woods and the dew is still on the ground, right? Or it had rained the night before and the ground is still wet, but the sun is so brightly shining through. Well, maybe it's like eight o'clock in the morning. The sun is so brightly shining, like really bright and all the leaves are like yellow and and red and orange and they've, they've just turned that beautiful color like in October, early October. And you can smell the woods and you can smell the fresh, clean air from the rain the night before. But yet the sun is shining and just the leaves are a little damp still from, um, oh, it's the one wax beside, well, there's a couple waxes, but, um, obviously, um, what was it? Oh, welcome summer is one of those. Snuggle Up is another one, um, and Painted Leaves. I just, I had a bad day this week and I put it in my warmers. I was like, I need some Painted Leaves. And it just, it made me happy. It didn't matter how bad my day was, it made me happy. Because I felt like I was out in nature and the sun was shining and the world was okay again. You know, I just... I can't explain it. That one will always stay in my club because I absolutely love everything about it. It's like nature. It's like autumn and nature in in its best form in a wax bar. And this is like summer sunshine in a wax bar. Like I just, I love those so much. So I think I'm kind of over summer waxes right now. I've always been a fall um, winter kind of wax girl because I, I tend to be spice bakery um, and floral um, in, in woods. <laughs> what am I not? Laundry isn't my favorite. Um, but so I was just like, you know, I need to start melting some fall, winter, even though it's still kind of warm here, um, like 70s, um, high 70s. Um, I was just like, I'm, I'm just kind of over the summer ones. Like I'm tired of them and I want, I don't want to just melt them to melt them. I want to enjoy them. So it's time that I move on. So I put in, um, winterberry apple tea to see if I, how I felt about it this year. I love it. And I think the reason why I didn't care for it last year and didn't put it in my club, which now if I would have done that and melted it again, I'd have been mad at myself. I do love it. <laughs> um, I think last year, what my problem was, was I melted this right after I did sweet plum pastry and I hated sweet plum pastry. I'm one of those few people that hate sweet plum pastry. Now, if I revisit sweet plum pastry this year, which who knows if it'll ever come back, I'm sure it will. Um, I, I might actually like it now that my nose has evolved. Um, my olfactory senses have evolved. Um, but this year I enjoyed it and I enjoyed it and everything but the wax. And I think it's because I melted it immediately after it was the wax bar that I put in. I'm almost positive right after sweet plum pastry. And I was like, nope, I hate it. Goodbye. I didn't even like dancing sugar plums last year because I did dancing sugar plums after I did winterberry apple tea and I was like, nope, they're all kind of plummy, gross. I don't like them. <laughs> That's how much I hated sweet plum pastry. I love it this year. And it reminds, it's, it has, I have to be careful with this one because there's every once in a while I get a slight Play-Doh note and I freaking hate Play-Doh. <laughs> I freaking hate Play-Doh. But for the most part, I get the winterberry apple tea part. It's only once in a while I get that Play-Doh, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it melting. Um, it's a great performer. It only lasts a day for me, but um, I had a lot of fun with it. And so um, I definitely want to repurchase more and melt more winterberry apple tea. And I'm tickled that I love it in more 
in, in wax also this year, not just scent soak and um, scrub. <laughs> the scent soak is to die for. But yeah, I'm enjoying winter berry apple tea. That was fun. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm tickled. And then I put in, gosh, I love the packaging on this one. I love it so much. Um, it's snowflakes, <laughs> but I freaking don't like this one. You guys, I don't like it. Um, I wanted to like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> Best in snow. There's a candy cane. Look at, look at the packaging with the snowflakes. That's beautiful packaging. Beautiful. It's like a powdery, dusty, musty cologne. <laughs> it smells musty to me. Like your basement. <laughs> It kind of smells like your basement. I don't like it. I want to like it because of the candy cane note in it, the, the snowy frosty. It has got kind of a men's cologne. I, I want to like this, but I just don't. <laughs> I put it in my bedroom and I put it in the office upstairs and I was just like, no, I don't like this one. I didn't like it last year and I still don't like it. I can melt it. It's not like I'm going to die, but it smells like a musty basement to me. No, no, no. I didn't like it last year. I don't like it this year. Sorry, Best in Snow. You lose. I don't like you. Hmm. I might even try it again when it's winter. Maybe because it's fall and I want spices. I guess I am seasonal. It's super weird. Um... I've never been a seasonal person, but maybe I am kind of, except the freaking Glamorous Youth Collection. I can melt that all year round. I love that. Um, but yeah, I must be a season. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again in the winter, give it one more shot, but it smells like a musty basement and I don't like it. So that's what I've been warming you guys um, so far. And um, my monthly Scentsy Club will be here Tuesday. Thursday will be my party, right? Oh no, my scent and warmer of the month. So you will, you will see Dale and I on Thursday <laughs> with my freaking, I'm super excited, um, October warmer of the month, like dying inside, excited for that one. Um, and then printed my label says printed so monday they should ship my my party that i closed so i have a ton more harvest stuff in there i'm super excited and some other cool things um so that will be coming soon and um my clearance still says um my clearance haul still says posted. So hopefully this week sometime they'll ship that too. So yay, I'm super excited. So I got a bunch of stuff coming. Um, don't forget Monday is the Black Panther launch. I wish I had remembered and saved my money <laughs> because I really, really, really want the Black Panther buddy bad. That's one of my all time favorite Marvel movies. Um, I absolutely love the Black Panther. I absolutely adored Chadwick Boseman as an actor. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name of the movie that Dale and I watched that was so good. Mar Clarence Thomas or Marsh? I don't remember, but Chadwick Boseman did an amazing job in that movie too. With Stur with well, anyways, I think they were both in that movie. I wish he just walked out the door again, or I'd ask him. Um, the Saint Sterling, Sterling, Sterling is the one. Hey, Dale. <laughs> um, what is the name of the movie that Chadwick Boseman and Sterling, can't remember his name, was in? Was it Marshall or Clarence Thomas? It was, oh, it was Marshall. No, it was Marshall, right? 
Well, I have Marshall in my head for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I think so. It was about Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall, yeah. that's who it was. Yeah. And But it's the same guy that was in Black Panther with him. Mm -hmm. That's in This Is Us, and he was in Supernatural as mm -hmm. Gordon. <laughs> Hated yeah. him as Gordon, but I love him in This Is Us. Yes, Marshall. We have, what's that guy's name? Sterling? I want to say Black, and I don't think that's his name. Sterling mm -hmm. Brown. Sterling Brown. Sterling K. Brown. Sterling Brown. He's amazing. I love Sterling yeah, Brown. Just not as Gordon in Supernatural. He's a jerk. <laughs> but he's one of my favorite actors, too. Yeah. Sterling Brown. Um, so, Ch Chadwick. I am so sorry that you died from cancer because you were an amazing actor and I loved you so much. And I really, really, really want this Black Panther buddy so bad, but I got to wait till I get paid again. So it's going to be a couple weeks. So save me a Black Panther buddy, pretty please, because <laughs> I need that. So um, don't forget that comes out Monday. Um, and I really, really, really need one. <laughs> so... Everyone have a fantastic Sunday. You'll see me tomorrow with Melter's Mixers. I have some good ones. Um, and they're seasonal. So have a great Sunday, guys. Bye.